My name is Annabelle Blomley. Have you ever heard of Ted Joe Dukasin? No. Tragic. Wait, wait, wait. Have you ever heard of Ted Joe Dukasin? No. Tragic. poisonous molecule named tetrodotoxin. Tetrodotoxin is a polar molecule that looks like this. It has 11 carbons, 17 hydrogens, 3 nitrogens, and 8 oxygens. Tetrodotoxin is a polar molecule with a very unsymmetrical shape. It is very soluble and very heat stable. While in high temperatures, tetrodotoxin goes from its normal white crystal coloring to a darker gray without melting. Tetrodotoxin was first found in pufferfish off the ancient coast of Japan hundreds of years ago. Not only is it found in pufferfish, but also in the blue-ringed octopus, the angelfish, some newts and frogs, boxfish, and many more. In Japan, the pufferfish, or fugu, is considered a delicacy by many, even though the high levels of tetrodotoxin can kill you if you take too much. To avoid deaths by pufferfish, fugu chefs must have a license and must cut out the eyes, liver, gonads, and many more organs before serving it, as those have the most levels of tetrodotoxin. Hi, my name's Annabelle. Where do you think tetrodotoxin is found in the pufferfish? On the pufferfish sites. Not quite right. Hi, where do you think tetrodotoxin is found in the pufferfish? The liver? Yes. <laughs> Tetrodotoxin is found in the livers, sex organs, and eyes of most of the marine animals that it is found in. Ma'am, why do you think these animals have tetrodotoxin in them? To poison predators? Sort of! <laughs> Most of the marine animals that have tetrodotoxin in their bodies use it to warn predators and make sure that the predators stay away from the animal that has tetrodotoxin in it. How do you think tetrodotoxin kills you? Um, it just gets in your system. No freaking kidding. Once in the body, tetrodotoxin starts to kill you in a very unique way. Wex Pharmaceuticals describes it as this. Long-term changes occur in the functioning of pain nerve cells, making them highly sensitive and active, a phenomenon known as sensitization. The sodium channels located on nerve cells are in part responsible for sensitization. They act as gates that regulate the entry of sodium ions across the cell membrane and play a critical role in the transmission of pain and sensory signals to the brain. TTX reduces the activity of sensitized nerve cells by selectively and reversibly blocking these sodium channels. Although sodium channels are complex structures, TTX selectively binds to the fourth domain on the outer pore of the channel. This blocks sodium ions from entering the nerve altogether, thereby interrupting or preventing nerve conduction. So by blocking the sodium channels, tetrodotoxin can cause many symptoms to the body, including headaches, sweating, weakness, tremors, seizures, vomiting, diarrhea, respiratory attacks, paralysis, and death. It takes very little for tetrodotoxin to kill you, about 81 one thousandths of an ounce, which is about less than a half of a teaspoon. There are around 34 to 64 hospitalizations a year from tetrodotoxin, just in Japan, but only about six people die per year. Most survive though because the symptoms are hard to miss and if you eat something that you know might have tetrodotoxin in it, you can be on the lookout and get early treatment. But tetrodotoxin isn't all that bad. It also has a lot of good characteristics that it can actually help people with. 
For example, tetrodotoxin can lower pain in cancer patients. Here's a video. One of the most poisonous animals on the planet is helping Southwest Florida cancer survivors deal with the side effects of chemotherapy. A Port Charlotte research clinic is testing a new drug which uses toxins from pufferfish to eliminate pain. NBC2's Charlie Keegan shares two early success stories, all new at 6. Joyce Klingel is on her feet a lot. When you're at work, you just keep going because you have to keep going. I mean, if your feet hurt, that's too bad. You just keep going. The manager at PostNet beat breast cancer six years ago, but chemotherapy left her with neuropathy in her feet and fingertips. She describes the painful disease. Burning, pins and needles, pricking the bottom of your feet all the time. Your fingertips get numb, you can't pick up anything, you can't hold anything. She tried different pain medication, but nothing worked. It still hurt to move packages and stand all day long. I would go home at night almost in tears. Then the folks at Medsol Research Clinic called, explaining they are testing a new drug using toxins from the puffer fish to treat the pain. I just wasn't sure. I mean, puffer fish, really? The trial requires patients like Klingel to get eight shots in four days. The clinic monitors the results while working to get the drug FDA approved. Best thing I ever did. And by the third day, I could actually straighten my hands out. Sheila Catton was the first person in the United States to participate in the study. It used to be painful for her to straighten out her fingers. Now she's pain-free and recommends others follow suit. I can't imagine anybody having that in their feet and hands that wouldn't be willing to try it. There are only 15 patients enrolled across the country, and the drug is still years away from being approved. In Port Charlotte, Charlie Keegan, NBC2. Side effects of the treatment so far include tingling in the lips and a metallic taste in your mouth, but doctors say neither lasts long after getting the shot. Along with helping cancer patients, tetrodotoxin can also help meth, heroin, and opium addicts while they're trying to get clean, all in very low doses, of course. In low doses, tetrodotoxin helps severe pain because when it blocks the sodium channels and messes up the nerve system, it lowers or numbs the pain signals that the brain receives. While in modern time we are just now figuring out the positive and beneficial uses of tetrodotoxin, and it will be years before it is used widespread, the toxin was a noted staple in ancient Japanese herbology and pharmaceutical medicines. Hundreds of years ago, the Japanese knew that although tetrodotoxin could kill you very easily, in low doses it could cure some pains, which is something we are just now experimenting on in the modern world. Another awesome thing about tetrodotoxin is that it could be considered a pop icon. Hi ma'am, did you know that tetrodotoxin is a pop icon? What? In tons of TV shows and movies, including Captain America at the Winter Soldier, The A-Team, Chuck, Nikita, Orphan Black, CSI New York, and so many more, tetrodotoxin has made many surprise appearances, mostly to kill a character or use it as a biological weapon. So in conclusion, although tetrodotoxin has many negative traits, including trying to kill you while you're just trying to eat some pufferfish, it also has tons of beneficial uses, including managing pain for patients with addictions or cancer, and there's so many more. Mm -hmm.